got Milk Makeup's brand new contour stick and I'm ready to see what it's giving. I also went ahead and grabbed their concealer. I heard very good things about it and I'm hoping it's giving what everyone says it is. I got the shade Simmer, y'all, and I opened it and it broke a little bit. Aw, but that's not going to stop me from using it. Alright, going in with concealer first. I like to let this sit under my eye. Nice applicator, everything. Nice shade. This is the shade 120. All right, going in with the contour stick. Is it me or is this more of a bronzer shade? It's very warm. It's very warm. Let's see how she blends. Not too bad. Very easy to blend, actually. Okay, so she blended like a dream. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's noise. That's noise. I'm not gonna lie, I honestly cannot remember a time where a milk makeup product sucked. If somebody can tell me a time, I, I can't. Every product for me has worked, so. All right, now to blend out this concealer. All right, it's definitely a pretty concealer. Um, I think I'm gonna add just a little bit more. Usually I use three concealers anyway. I already underpainted before this, but um, I only added this, and usually I go in with a third one, but it's definitely definitely really pretty all right so she's buildable i literally just added another one and you can see the difference she's definitely you can definitely see the difference she's buildable you can work with her okay and i like that so overall i'm definitely going to continue using the contour it looked really nice and the concealer as well because when i started putting powder on it and the finish of it all it looked amazing and it even looks amazing now so definitely a win-win